And so it begins. Uh, the summer we've been dreading as West Ham fans for quite a long time now. Um, the summer where it looks as though our captain, Declan Rice, is going to be leaving the club. Um, we've, you know, all the big boys now coming in. Now, I, look, I, I did a video previously on this. Um, do go back. If you haven't seen it, go back and have a watch. Um, just get your get my thoughts on what I actually think. I don't think it's as bad as we need to keep thinking this is. Don't get me wrong. Losing your best player is, you know, and captain. Look, it, it, you can't try and make it sound like a great bit of news. But West Ham can make it into a positive. I, I don't want to go over the whole video again. But my point was that if we get the money right, if we could spend right, we can actually become out of this stronger um, if we lost Declan this time. If we do, I mean, we, we don't know yet. He could turn around and sign a new deal. I, I don't think that's going to happen, but you, you never know. Uh, but at this stage, we're going to go with the notion that it looks like Declan's going. Moyes has already pretty much admitted that in, the, in, a, in a previous press conference and said that um, there was a good chance, he used those words, a good chance that Declan won't be with us. So that, that effectively, he's admitting he's going as far as I'm concerned. But look, as I've said, it, it's isn't all doom and gloom. West Ham can get this right. We can make this work for us as a football club and push on. And let's be honest, I mean, to get a player from an academy and then you're talking going for around about £100 million, there's not many times you can do that. Not many clubs that can ever do that. So we are in a fortunate position, let's be honest. And, I, and also, I didn't realise, I didn't realise as well that Declan's got two years left on his current deal and West Ham have the option to extend it to a third. It is interesting, you know, because there is a part of you going, well, why don't we just extend it and then make him stay another season? But I do get it. I think we're using it more as a bargaining chip rather than... Um, to let Declan go. And also, we've got to think about the players' wishes as well. I do understand that. But I'm going to come to Declan's wishes in a minute. But anyway, what I'm really, really pleased about in this video, and this is what I, this is a positive video, okay, is that Arsenal are not getting a free run at Declan Rice, which it, it did feel like that was coming, that was happening a little bit. It looked like Chelsea weren't showing much of a hand. They were sort of talking about Liverpool were interested in Bellingham, Man City. I, I haven't really heard any noise about them apart from earlier, earlier, earlier. I'd heard noises about them being interested, but again, it was it like so. It looked as though Arsenal were sort of getting a free run at Declan, um, which was worrying. Because one, I'll be honest, I don't want him to go to Arsenal. They're a London rival. I don't, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see him go to a Chelsea or wherever, wherever or Arsenal. I, I just don't want to see it. Um, so it's not something that I was particularly fond of anyway. But I don't like the idea that this club are just going to walk in and go, well, we'll give you 80 million. And we're going, well, we've got to accept it. We've got no choice. Um that's now changing. It, it, things are really changing quite quickly here. Pl clubs are now starting to show their hands. And this is what West Ham want. This is what David Sullivan want. This is what we want. We want the bids to start coming in. And bids are starting to come in, as far as I know, in terms of what they're going to start offering. Don't get me wrong. I don't know if he's official. I don't know whether they've actually sent these bids. I don't, I, I don't believe so, because obviously the transfer window isn't even open yet. But it appears that there's some noises now. Um, amongst uh, around doing their rounds now. I, th I think it might be Claren who broke this. So I, have, I haven't actually seen... It's just, by the time I, as I'm recording this, X is doing it back to the podcast. In fact, it's going to be out shortly. So he will provide more of a clearer update of what's going on there. But I want to talk about... just. I'm not talking about the fact that I just want to know this is where we are um, from what's being said. OK, so as far as I understand it, this is where we sit with Rice at the moment. I believe Arsenal are willing to pay up to £80 million for Rice. Now, if you remember um, Arsenal, I, oh, you know what? I can't remember the guy's name. The guy that went to Chelsea, blonde head guy. I just he's forgot, forgot what his name is. Um, uh, I think he might be Ukrainian um, the midfielder. Um, now, what my point is on that is that Arsenal bidded for the player. He he was, I believe, pretty much in an Arsenal shirt. Um, was gearing to go, and then Chelsea came in with more money, and Arsenal went, "No, we're not paying any more." I think they've got a very strict policy in terms of how much they can pay, whether it has to be financial fair play or whatever, that they seem to have a ceiling of how much they can spend, very much so. Um, I, and it's given me a little bit of comfort, that is now, because I'm starting to think if they're coming in and saying, well, we're not paying any more than £80 million, that could be them losing out on rice. I, and I, um, but what is interesting with the, right, the Arsenal link is that it appears to be quite wide common knowledge, is that rice favours that move apparently um that they put in quite a lot of groundwork with the player and all these things so that th that could be a problem um but i've got to be honest with you this is my feeling i'd love to know your feelings on this i don't really care about that i i, I don't think west ham should care about that personally i, I know and i might sound a little bit harsh on declan but at the end of the day we're a business we have we ha if, if declan's worth 120 million pound we can't just accept 40 million pound less and go well okay because that's declan wants to go there we can't do that we did it with Pyre. I don't want to see us tapping again. We we got screwed out of that. You know, we, we sold Pyatt for twenty five million pounds. He's worth double that easy at the time. I don't want to see this happen again. That we just accept a bid anyway because it's just what the favourite player fancies. I've got no. You pay what's needed. So 
the Arsenal one's interesting. I'm actually starting to believe at the moment that they're going to be losing out on Rice. That's my gut feeling on this because it seems like other clubs have got far more to sp- are willing to spend far more than that. And and as I've said, I don't think Arsenal have that extra. Well, they might not have the one. They might not have the money to do so. And two, they don't. They might be hitting ceilings, and I don't know. So. That's where it's at at the moment. My understanding is Arsenal will bid at £80 million and I don't think that's going to be enough. Newcastle United now have come forward, apparently. And apparently Newcastle United are willing to pay up to £90 million. That's going to be the opening bid for Rice. Um, uh, I'm not sure about that one, personally. I'm not sure he'd want to go Newcastle. Um, I don't get... The, the, the reason I say that is because I think Declan's more interested in trophies. I think that's really where his mind's at. This is why he wants this move. I don't know whether he's going to want to go to a club like Newcastle. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate they've got, they're going to have Champions League. Well, it looks like they could have Champions League. Um, and they and they are a club that's got, very, we know how wealthy they are, all these things. Um, it, but it, if you think of when City got taken over, it took about 10 years for them to win a trophy, effectively. So I, I don't know whether Declan's going to be sold on that. I, I personally, I think he'll think, yeah, that's fine, but I don't, I don't want to go to a project that's going to take five to ten years to his challenge for titles. I just don't think that's going to happen. So I, I, so my feeling is he won't go to Newcastle. That's my gut feeling. But again, this is all good though. We want Newcastle to come in with a bid. We want that. That's that raises the, the, the you know, it starts the bidding war. Now the interesting one, the very, very interesting one is Manchester City. This is the one I'd like him to go to because I like West Ham fans, many fans. Got I, I, we got a good relationship. The city, as far as I'm concerned, we got we, we have a good, good good bond with that club. Um, they like us, we like them. We've never had a real problem with them. Um, and do you know what? It would make sense for me, like if I was Declan Rice, and and like I've said, he, this is his drive, this is his aim. He wants to go and win trophies. He wants to challenge. It's all ready for him there. You know what I mean? He, he walks into a team with you know Foden, Grealish, uh, Harland, De Bruyne. I mean, you're walking into a world of you know, pool of superstars, which would be, so, let's be honest, as a footballer, would be a pleasure to be playing with every week. You walk into a fan base that would love him, you know, that they, they, they'd respect Declan and I think they'd be really happy to have him. Um, he walks under a manager that's regarded as, let's be honest, or is the best manager in the world. And, and, and Manchester City can guarantee Rice that they're going to be challenging. They can say, so we're going to challenge for the title. We're going to challenge for the Champions League. We're going to challenge for the FA Cup. We're, we're going to challenge for four trophies every year. And we'll probably win the vast majority of them as well. It, it kind of, for me, ticks all the boxes for Declan. I, I, I find it strange for him not to want to go there. And and I'll, and I'll tell you why, another reason. Like I've just said, we've got a good relationship with City, so it's, it would be it would like a bit, it'd be quite respectful for him to do that. I think to the West Ham fans, because I think a lot of fans wouldn't mind seeing. I wouldn't mind seeing him play for City. That's my point. There, I don't think there's any other club I'd like to see him play for. You know, as I say, certainly not London clubs. And uh, with City, I just think I, I could I could live with it. I, I could live with that. Um, that's my feeling on it. Um, so. Yeah, that's my feeling uh, uh, where I think I would like him to go. I'd love to, again, please let me know what you think, how you feel on that and and whether you, how you would feel on that. Do you, are you, do you agree with me in that, that City would be an okay uh, move for, for a Rice and that we wouldn't mind seeing him in a shirt? Because I certainly wouldn't. It would it would certainly cushion the blow for me. So apparently Man City have come forward and offered £70 million pounds plus Phillips. Well, that's what they're, they're going to offer. I've kind of known about this for a little while, actually. I've heard about this. I think we've kind of, and I think X has even talked about it a fair bit. He's, he has said it publicly um, that, that he wouldn't be surprised if this happens, that, that that's what they might offer. I, personally, I don't really want Kevin Phillips. I know it sounds a bit arrogant. I don't want to come, I, I know he's a very good player. I just worry about his injury record. I, I don't want to get a player that's going to be spending half the season on the bench or in the treatment room. I just don't want that. So that concerns me a little bit. But, but, Think about it in value, though. 70 plus Phillips. Phillips could be, what, 50? So you're talking straight away 120 million. So they're the highest bidders at the moment, 120, which is really, I believe, what West Ham has set the price tag out. Now, there's other teams involved in this, apparently, as well. I don't know what the, their bids are. I have no idea. But apparently Manchester United are interested. I, I would kind of understand Declan for going there. I've got to be honest. Um, the reason I say that is because... With Manchester United, you do feel that like they're not far away from challenging now. They're probably one, maybe two years away, and they'd probably be a real big force in the Premier League again. You get the feeling that's where they're going. Um, also, they've got a takeover. All these kind of things going on. And there are rumours that Harry Kane could be going there. So I kind of understand that he might do it as a project. But much like Newcastle, is he going to want to take that risk? Does he want to go there and think, 
you know, what if he goes there and it doesn't work out? Um, he'd be gutted. And yeah, I think he, I, I get the feeling, Rice, this will be his last big move. He wants one big move, go to a club and he'll stay there. I can't see him chopping and changing, jumping all over the place. I just don't see it happening with him. Um, I think that's what he wants to achieve is to go and win somewhere. So he has to get this move spot on. But so I can kind of see the romance a little bit, Man United, you know, the old big club that seem to be, you know, resurrecting themselves a little bit now from the Ferguson, obviously since Ferguson left. And I kind of get it. Um, but maybe the, the ownership situation is uncertain. It's probably going to prove too much. I don't know. Um, as I said, my preference is Man City, but I can kind of get the Man United one. Liverpool as well, um, apparently are interested. They obviously lost out on Jude Bellingham's going to Real Madrid. So they've got money to spend. They were going to spend quite big, no doubt, on Bellingham. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't really want to see him. In, I don't really want to see him go to Liverpool, to be honest. Um, and let's be honest, they've had a pretty poor season for them. Is he going to be sold on that? I'm not sure. Is Jurgen Klopp going to be there for the long term? Not sure. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure in the Liverpool one. I'd be very surprised if he goes to Liverpool. I, I'd be very surprised. I, I, I don't really see that one. And of course, there's the last one, Chelsea. Um, there's Pochettino's taking over at Chelsea. They're going to want to spend bigger this summer. Um, the bottom half of the table, they're not getting Champions League. I, I don't think it appeal to him. I, I think he he wants to go to a club that's ready made. He doesn't want to join a club that's in disarray. Um, and let's be honest, there's no guarantees that Pochettino is going to do well there. Because I, when I did the season preview about Chelsea, it I'm, I'm, I'm quite I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep I'm not showing off here, but I basically got it completely spot on with them. I felt that this owner, if you looked at his history and what he's like and what he's done in America with the clubs that he owns. He's a very hands-on owner. He gets involved. He, he, he shut, and I knew that wouldn't work at a football club. It just wouldn't work at Chelsea having an owner that can't walks in dressing rooms and tells players off and stuff. That's just it's just not going to work. Um, and, and that's what I'm seeing. And I, I, I'm not sure why Pochettino has taken that job. I, I really am struggling to understand. I thought he was quite a very careful man when he picked his projects, and that 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 for me is a risk to him. So I, I don't look at Chelsea and think, oh, they're going to be amazing under Pochettino. Now I, I still I have doubts over that club. Still, I think they've got a lot of problems um, with or without Pochettino. So I'm just thinking from my point of view, okay. And if I was Declan Rice, I don't think I'd be looking at Chelsea thinking, oh, I fancy a bit of that. I, I really don't. I, I don't think so. Um, and as far as I understand, yeah, well, we know the history of obviously Rice and Chelsea. He, he played for them as a boy. He's a he comes from a Chelsea background, I fan and what have you. But they let him go, and I, I, I do wonder if that'll play in his mind a little bit. Feel a bit let down, and you know, he doesn't owe them a favour now. I'd, I'd, I'd feel a little bit aggrieved. I think. Um, who knows? But I. My gut feeling is it's going to be between Arsenal and Manchester City and possibly Manchester United. I think they're going to be the three that are going to be the ones that are probably going to be appealing to him. I really hope it's City. I, 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 I'd I love to know your thoughts on this, but I, I really do. I really hope City are serious about taking Rice and can sway him because that would be a move that would suit everyone. It would suit Declan. It would suit Declan. It would suit West Ham. It would suit West Ham fans. It would suit everyone. It would be a win-win-win all round. I think we could all move forward, and we would, we would be. And I'd be happy to see Deck do well there. I don't want to see him go to a London rival. It would really be painful, and I, I hope that he, he's considering that as well, thinking I, he, he doesn't want to tarnish his West Ham legacy. I mean, he's not going to tarnish his legacy, of course, but let's be honest: going to a London rival does leave a little bit of bitter taste in the mouth. I, I just don't want to see it. It's on our doorstep, and we've got to then deal with it. Whereas he goes up to Manchester, we can just wish him well. Um, but we've always shown wherever he goes. But that's my feelings on it. It's, but this is a good video, OK? I don't want to be doing me going about Declan. I'm kind of accepting it's going. But I like what's happening here. This is exactly what we wanted as West Ham fans. What we need is a football club. We need clubs to start coming in. We do not want one football club going. Well, they're the only ones interested. The rest can't afford him. Because then they're, they're dictating the price. I think Arsenal are going to get priced out of this. I really do. I think they're going to get priced out. Um, and as I've said, I'm, I, I'd love to know your thoughts on this, but if Declan has got an agreement with Arsenal, i.e. personal terms, whatever, I don't think I'd, I don't think that would sway me as West Ham. I think they've got to be tough with Declan and say, well, no, 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 they, 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 they've got to pay money. We're not just going to let you go cheaper because you, you prefer that move. We, we can't go down that route. We've done it before. We've got bitten. Um, but yeah, here we are. Tonight's the night, though. Bigger things to worry about than that now. We've, you know, we are one game away uh, from a European final. It, it doesn't get much bigger than this, and we're going to need Declan Rice to be at his best, which I'm sure he will be. Here we go. Come on, your eyes.